In this video, we are parking our boat to go spend a few days on land at the beautiful Cocoa Plum Island Resort. It's one of the top all-inclusive destinations in the world, and we stayed at a beautiful overwater villa. The service at Cocoa Plum is top-notch, and we were happy to get a little break from the boat. We had spent the night at Anchor at Tobacco Key outside the second largest barrier reef in the world. Nice night here, fairly calm. Uh, you know, the wind's a bit out of the north. It's kind of unusual, it's normally out of the east, uh, which would have been really well protected um, by the bar second largest barrier reef. But uh, it's been out of the north for a while now, and, but not too strong, I mean, just a little bit of chop. Anyway, uh, so we're not gonna get moving today till about 11, because it's only about five miles where we need to beat them at noon. We are staying at the Cocoa Plum Resort, so we're gonna go over there, drop anchor, and uh, chill. So the conditions have calmed down a little bit. Uh, they were forecast too there. But uh, of course, it's like we're cursed on this trip. Like the wind has been out of this direction and now it is out of the direction we want to go. So uh, probably motoring again today. But uh, Caroline's gonna whip up a little breakfast and then we'll get moving. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for cooking, guys. Well, true. Right. <laughs> yep, pretty good. Not bad. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're on our way. I don't know, it's something like five or six miles around the corner over to Cocoa Plum. Uh, there's no mooring ball there, and we're gonna leave the boat anchored overnight, so we gotta really make sure we got the anchor set properly. All right, we have made it through the uncharted waters, uh, like literally. We gotta turn left here, and Cocoa Plum is right there. We're almost there. Ready for some like a non-moving bed and like a swimming pool and a nice little night off the boat. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, yeah, it's gonna nice. be good. Should be a pretty nice resort. Overwater bungalow is what we're getting, so I think. Yeah. Good? Yeah, I think so. We yeah. set the anchor back down at like 1,400 RPM and we weren't moving, so I think we're okay. Welcome to one of the top all-inclusive destinations in the world, Cocoa Plum Island Resort. We were going to be spending the night at this exclusive private island and we're pretty excited about it. The resort maintains a level of service I hadn't experienced before and it was going to be a real treat. I'm not wearing shoes, you can wear yeah, your shoes. Fine. It's okay, I'm the local. <laughs> Caroline didn't even bring shoes on this trip. Yeah, so. we were just saying how Caroline learned uh, the hard way uh, the, that uh, you don't let the dinghy go of the boat until the engine started. No, you don't. Or you have at least <laughs> made sure to have something like this yeah. with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the resort has their own boat service that would normally pick you up and do then Griga from here probably. So it's like uh, what? 20, 30 minute boat drive? Yeah. It's like everything's pristine and clean here, pretty cool. My name is Alex. I'm the person in charge of guest services. So whatever you need, you ask and we'll deliver. Perfect. Even if you don't have it on the island, <laughs> give us 24 hours. Okay, to yeah, bring it. Bring it. Go. Oh. The island. I'll go over everything, but you remember, no problem. The staff knew all our names before we even set foot on the island, and of course, there was the welcome drinks. We were hungry and it was time for lunch, so they led us to their beautiful seaside restaurant. Food is amazing, it's perfect, and the service is like top notch. They've gotten like top 
like 13th best uh, all-inclusive resort in the world and number three as far as small resorts. Mm -hmm. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, they're all about service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're all about the service. <laughs> Fantastic lunch, probably the best lunch we've had so far. And now Alex is going to show us to our rooms. The grounds on the island are kept immaculate and it was a short walk to our overwater villa. Feels amazing in here. Number one. Yeah, it does. Cool. Uh, Go ahead. You can drink whatever you would like to drink. Our master bedroom is right over that side. Of course, when coming. the sun rises, once the windows are all open, you'll see the sun rise. Oh, there she is up there. I mean, what shall I say? <laughs> this is our porch area. Sit back, relax, oh. and enjoy. Wow. Wow. So this is our room for the night. It's the three-bedroom overwater bungalow with our own little swim platform and everything. Look at this. Wow. I'm not complaining. This is pretty nice. She, she was just saying like, those guys are never gonna catch anything over there. That's the wrong place to fish. But then when we come over here, she's like, oh no, this is perfect. <laughs> so now this, she's... Look, she's so excited. Yeah. She's so cute. Oh my God. What do you think of the master bedroom here? It's, it's, yeah, it's a beautiful view. I mean, look you at this. leave me here. Yeah. Wow. All right, proper tour. Kind of, we just showed you the outside a little, bit, a little bit in here. But so this is the main living area. With just a panoramic view of the ocean. I mean, pretty awesome. Nice bar. Fully stocked fridge full of beer. I mean, like, they knew I was coming. Cook up some bottle. <laughs> oh. This is the guest room downstairs. And it's got a bathroom right here. All right, coming upstairs, uh, got its own little kind of VIP cabin, or VIP guest room. Got its own little balcony landing, looking over out, and then its own bedroom, which bathroom. Welcome to my new favorite spot. Yeah, this place is pretty legit. I mean, so it's got, I think you said 18 cabins and this, uh, what, villa, so three bedroom villa. So, you know, there's not a whole, you know, there's not gonna be more than 40 people on the whole island guests anyway when it's fully booked. And I don't know if it's fully booked or not, but pretty sweet here. Cocoa Plum. Ah, uh, professional. Looks like a pro. I think we're gonna head over that way and walk around. Um, if you catch anything, let us know. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, really. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> So the grounds here are just kept immaculate. I mean, like we saw like a team, a team of people like raking this whole thing. Yeah. Every time you put footprints in it, they come in and rake it up and, <laughs> and make it look. Probably behind yeah. you with their rake. Yeah. The level of service here, I gotta say, is, I mean, pretty top notch. I don't know that I've had better service anywhere. Yep, not bad. So all the little, I don't know what you call them, palapas, gazebos, whatever. Say they are first come, first serve to whatever guest wants them for the time they're using them or whatever. So those overwater hammocks look pretty cool too. I know, that's what I've had my eye on. Oh. I'll live with them after, that's fine. Time to get in the water. So lose the clothes, bring the drinks, and let's go. Lose the clothes? Well, I mean, you got a bikini on. What if I want to swim in my clothes? I mean, alright. Uh, 
I didn't really want to film it too much because like I don't know like invading people's privacy but like basically we uh, hung out in the water all afternoon drinking all-inclusive resort I'm just saying push in. <laughs> don't you uh, dare I'll push your ass in uh, I gotta no I don't care all right. so now we are gonna go like take real showers and get cleaned up I'm so excited I know right I'm so excited not for boat shower. showers we're gonna take real showers <laughs> yes all right you ready so ready let's do it and then we'll come back for dinner Sounds good to me. I'm disappointed you didn't catch anything. Come no, on. it's, I don't know. They don't want it. There's Maybe al later. There's always later. Yes. Or in the I morning. Mean, and the point is, it's called fishing and not catching. Okay? <laughs> so this True. is why crazy people just doing it. Right. We love to be focused and kind of like the whole day thrilled for nothing. Mm -hmm. But we're happy. Alright, alright. We'll, we'll, we'll do some catching <laughs> tomorrow. The island is equally as beautiful at nighttime as it is in the day. So it's buffet night tonight. They had some chicken, some oxtails, some, fi oxtail, some fish, and uh, lots of veggies. So we're digging in. Yep. After dinner, we headed to the bar. So apparently, if you are a returning guest, you get to bring a shirt and sign it and have it put up. And if you are a six-time or more guest, you get a plaque on the wall. So, kind of cool. And they do have quite a few returning customers. There's like three or four returning customers here tonight. So, interesting. It doesn't get much better than spending the evening at a resort like this. Right now, what I've got to do is, so we're having the Sailing Noodles Flotilla October 21 to 28. I believe it's sold out, but we have cabins on our boat that we are inviting our patrons to come sail with us. So I am going to do the patron drawing right now. So I made a post on our Patreon who is available to join. I have put their names on a spreadsheet, numbered them each and have a random number generator. So I'm gonna hit generate right now. It is number 13, lucky number 13. Lucky number 13 is Will Schrader. I'll be sending you um, an email shortly, Will, and you probably will be seeing this video too, so congratulations, October 21st through 28th. Um, and we have a Bali 48. You'll be sailing with us. All you gotta do is get yourself to Marsh Harbor, and then your boat, your cabin on the boat is free. Congratulations, Will, and uh, you know, I'll see you in a few weeks. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Coco Plum Island Resort for letting us stay the night at your beautiful island. We had such a great time. <laughs>